Katie from the Beauty Bureau and I am so pumped to be bringing you guys this tutorial. Well, let me rephrase. I'm not really pumped to be filming myself doing my own hair, which is looking a little bit Goldilocks right now, but you guys have requested it and so I'm bringing it at ya. So if you want to find out how to get these beachy kind of rocker waves with your straightening iron throw that curling iron away throw that curling rod away all you need is a straightener so if you want to find out how to get those waves keep on watching okay so i just got out of the shower and today i used the bedhead recovery shampoo which i have been loving it's for dry damaged tresses that need a moisture hit. So I used that today and then I really like the Kenra line but I haven't tried much from this line um, and so today I used the Nourishing Mask Deep Conditioning Treatment and I actually really like it. Um, it doesn't smell... actually I take that back. It smells better than the macadamia oil. It smells a little bit more florally and I really like how I lose my hair feeling. So those are the things that I used in the shower. <clears throat> Next, after I've towel dried my hair, I use the Bumble and Bumble Mending Complex. This is for the truly damaged. So I just, they say like to put a quarter size amount in your hands. Um, I probably do like four quarters stacked on top of each other. <laughs> um, and then I just run that through all of my hair. And you want to be sure that you're putting a product like this in before you put in any other product so that it really has time to adhere and soak into the hair follicle. I try to focus on the ends because that is where most of my damage is. Um, but you can comb it through with your fingers all the way through. And then the next thing I do is I put in my leave-in conditioner. And right now I'm loving this soy tri-wheat leave-in conditioner from Healthy Sexy Hair. It leaves my hair so strong, so supple, so soft. I can actually comb my hands through my hair <laughs> after blow drying it. And typically it's really brittle and I can't, I can't do that. So I love to put this right in the ends. I basically drench my hair again after it's been towel dried. I just soak my hair again in this lovely product. <clears throat> and I love leave-in conditioners as opposed to deep conditioners because they stay in your hair and they actually work their magic in your hair and that's why I love leave-in conditioners and if you want to try this they actually have these tiny little sample sizes at Ulta. The next thing I use, you guys are gonna die, I use so many products on my hair to do so many different things <laughs> but I hope this is helpful. Uh, the next thing I use is the Big Sexy Hair Root Pump and all I do is focus on this crown of my head and that's gonna give me more volume right where I want it. Um, which is right here like in my middle part and then right down these lines too. So I separate <clears throat> down a deeper side part and just kind of squirt it in my hair and then toss all my hair through. And then I just take like one inch sections and keep doing that with that same product. And it's just a mousse, but it sprays out like a hairspray. And I love that. So that it's, you don't have to like put a dollop of weird mousse in your hands and then apply that to the hair. And I find that this is easier to blend than a mousse. And then I do right in the very back. And that bottle is officially gone. <laughs> You can buy these tiny sample bottles just to see if you like it at Ulta as well. Okay, now I am ready to blow dry. This is kind of a long process. I'm going to speed it up for you. But what I do is I get my hair 
pretty well dry about I would say about 80% dry and then I partition it off so I'm gonna get it 80% dry now okay so now that I look like um straight out of the bad 80s <laughs> I partition my hair off so I take it from about the tops of my ear <clears throat> And do this top half in a lovely whatever this is in the top of my hair and just clip it and then I pull out my round brush this is disgusting but it is the truth of what I use so and then I just round brush the last portions of my hair to make sure that I get volume right here at the base at the root of my hair the temples and leave that part for very last so as you can see my hair is still really frizzy <laughs> Um, this is where the straightening and curling comes in. So just part your hair wherever you like to part your hair. Recently, I've been liking parting it right down the middle. So I just take my fine tooth back comb comb that has a pointy little end here. And I just run it right down the middle. <clears throat> and let the hair fall. <clears throat> Once I've parted it, I'm going to put a heat protectant and softening styler in. And my favorite one to use is the Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. It provides the best softness. It's an oil. Um, and so if you'd really prefer, you can use an argon or a um, Moroccan oil. And I just actually put probably too much in my hands. It's a dime size amount, but then I just smother it in my hands and swipe it through the ends of my hair. Okay, now that I have that heat protectant in my hair, I am going to divide my hair yet again. Um, this time I'm just going to do the same process. I'm going to divide it into three different sections and then I'll show you exactly how to get the curls. I use a one inch curling iron. This is the Nano um, Titanium by Babyliss Pro, but I know a lot of other different people use different irons. I just liked that this could get really hot, although I don't actually take it that hot because it's really bad for your hair. Um, but I put it on 340 degrees and that is what I find works best for my hair. So I take a, I would say this is almost a two inch section of hair. I don't know if you can see that. And what I make sure I'm doing is I am straightening this part right next to my scalp. And then I take the iron and turn it backwards away from my face and then pull the hair away from my face and away from my head. And I do it kind of slowly. And then I just quickly do this last part so that you can see it's a little bit straighter here on the ends. And if it doesn't end up straighter, I actually just end up straightening it. We'll go over that one more time. <laughs> I take a section of hair parallel with the flat iron. I go straight for a little bit and then I turn it backwards on itself and then pull the straightener as I would normally. 
and then when I get to the very end I just go really really fast so that I get a straight end but I'm also not frying my ends because the straightener isn't touching them very much and then I repeat that process all the way around my head now if you wanted a more beachy look you could do backwards and forwards. I find that with my layers, my hair doesn't lay as nicely that way, but if you have a lot of fun layers, um, that's a really great way to get a very beachy look. Um, and I like to, I don't know if my look is so much beachy as it is, I like it kind of like rocker grungy. I don't want it to look super curly, but I do like that it goes more uniform. So you just play around with what works best for you, but this is how I use a straightener. <clears throat> And I'm just going to repeat that process for the rest of my head. down and I'll walk you through the curls again just so you understand so I take about a one to two inch section here we go I straighten away from my scalp and then go back in and turn the iron away from my face and slowly slowly pull it away and then quickly do the ends. It may seem complicated, but let's be honest, everything just takes a little bit of practice. And so, if you don't get it right the first time, that's alright, just keep trying. And I think the key to this look is not having things look uniform. So if different curls look different, that's the beauty of it. That's going to give you a more beachy, fun, like more casual look than even what I'm doing. So. like it. I hope that it's not too uniform. It looks really kind of crazy right now. I promise it looks amazing after sleeping on it, after letting it rest for a few hours. It just kind of tames down and looks less Goldilocks. Promise, promise, promise. <laughs> if you try this, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy it.